stay with this issue and bring in Ukraine's ambassador to South Africa, not only to talk about the Russian president's decision today that he will not be traveling to Johannesburg for the BRICS summit, but also the news from the region that Russia has launched missile attacks on ports on the Black Sea. The attacks have reportedly destroyed 60,000 tons of grain. This just a day after the failure to broker a fresh deal to allow Ukraine to export its grain. And as we know, many African countries rely on that grain. Ambassador Leobov Abravitova joins us in studio. Ambassador, thanks so much for your time. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I have to start first, of course, with your response and your country's response to the news that Vladimir Putin is not coming to South Africa. Do you welcome this development? Uh, first of all, uh, this uh, was the... Uh decision that was taken, as we understand, uh, by uh, all the BRICS uh, leaders, uh, and the recommendation was taken seriously by Russia. A uh, side uh, that shows us that Russia uh, is becoming more and more isolated, that uh, Putin is becoming more and more isolated uh, on international arena. Uh, we understand the importance of BRICS summit, the 15th um, uh, BRICS summit, uh, uh, which will be uh, hosted by South Africa and uh, uh, will be presented not only by the heads of uh, BRICS, uh, but also by many other uh, heads of states invited. Uh, thus, the uh, uh, international law uh, and uh, Hmm. The UN Charter has to be respected, and that is why I find it's very important uh, that uh, South Africa will be able hmm. uh, to hold this uh, summit on that level. That they it, it was interesting what uh, the ANC's you know, Volo Mokonyani said, now we can get down to the real stuff that this matter has been cleared. But we know that the ANC has come out very strongly in support of Russia. And even tonight, uh, Volo Mokonyani is saying... Uh, that BRICS as a summit shouldn't be used to impose um, punishment, you know, sort of suggesting uh, that the moves that the ICC has taken against Vladimir Putin is, is somewhat unfair. I would imagine that you wouldn't agree uh, with uh, Ms. Mokonyane on that issue. What is Ukraine's involvement, if at all, with BRICS? Are you involved in BRICS? Will you be attending next month's summit in any form? Uh, as far as I know, we were not yet invited to, to the BRICS summit. Uh, though um, I would say that uh, we definitely have to remind our viewers uh, why the warrant to President Putin of Russia was issued. Uh, it's uh, not a unilateral sanction or unilateral action. Uh, it is by the order of uh, this dictator. Uh, thousands of Ukrainian children were deported on the territory of Russia. They were stolen, they were kidnapped, and uh, these are well-known and uh, legally proven facts, which uh, means that today South Africa has been involved in the talks with Ukraine uh, regarding uh, the children that uh, were st stolen from uh, Ukraine, uh, proves that the uh, Russian president is guilty in that mm -hmm. particular crime. Well, I mean, obviously the ICC wants him to answer to that allegation, and, and it is a very serious allegation indeed. It certainly solves South Africa's dilemma on what to do. We saw yesterday the president's answering affidavit to that court application with the DA saying South Africa needs to state clearly what they will do. Uh, his answering affidavit saying, well, we have been threatened with war if we arrested Putin. But that dilemma has luckily been averted. But... News from Ukraine today, incredibly worrying. This grain deal, which was allowing Ukraine to get its grain out to countries that really needed it, that deal was not renewed. And this morning news that Russia has attacked um, grain facilities and ports. I wonder if you can talk to us about um, what's been damaged, what's actually happened to the grain stocks and what's happening to this deal now. So let's talk about uh, the deal uh, that now is broken by Russia. Um, this is the new level of food blackmail of the globe that Russia is showing us. Last year, when uh, Russian unprovoked war and invasion started, 
the world very quickly realized the importance of Ukraine being the uh, big exporter of um, uh, not only grains but uh, different uh, agricultural commodities and that is why uh, United Nations and uh, Turkey uh, came up with uh, the initiative to organize this uh, Black Sea Grain initiative and uh, it worked. Uh, it worked that uh, after a couple of months of uh, uh, prices were going up. We finally uh, received and achieved stabilization of prices on grains uh, and uh, we were able to sustain all the UN food programs mm -hmm. for all the world. Moreover, President Zelensky launched the program Grain from Ukraine for which we were able to provide free of charge uh, different grains uh, to the countries uh, that I need in Middle East and and uh, in Africa. Today, uh, when uh, this uh, initiative uh, was abandoned by Russia, and let's explain it clearly, Ukraine and Russia never concluded the agreement. There was uh, three sides that concluded agreement, Russia, Turkey and UN, and signed it to provide guarantees mm. and uh, for, for the corridor. And that's fallen apart and, now. Yeah, and that's fallen apart. And another one is Ukraine, Turkey and United Nations. And we're still committed in our part of the agreement and we are going to so, continue. So with the attacks today on these ports where a lot of grain was being held, what's the impact likely to be on countries, particularly in Africa, who were expecting grain? The impact will be dramatic. It will be huge. Uh, this is the time of harvesting of grain in Ukraine and uh, this is the deliberate action of Russia not to prolongate, uh, prolongate its part of the agreement. Meantime, the attack that occurred today in Odessa port uh, when, as you said, uh, a lot of grains were uh, just destroyed and eliminated uh, will have almost immediate effect on all of us. Yeah, this is, is very worrying indeed. And thank you very much for coming into studio and, and just giving us your response uh, to uh, this uh, grain attack and also, of course, what's happening with the BRICS summit. Always appreciate your time. Ukraine's ambassador to South Africa, Lyubov Abravitova. Now.